G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Today, just a quick tech tip on how to check knock sensors. So, stick with us. So here we've got a, a great example. It's a 1996 Toyota Land Cruiser with a 4.5 litre petrol engine. It's come in for a check engine light with a knock sensor one code. So this has two knock sensors on this engine and obviously one is failing. So what we want to do is uh, without any live data that we can access, we're going to be able to check this properly. And the way we do that is with an oscilloscope. So let me just set this up and I'll, I'll show you what we check. So just the basis of this for those of you that don't know, I'm assuming most of you know anyway, but just a quick one. Uh, obviously the knock sensor is basically a piezoelectric disc that measures vibration of the engine or whatever it's connected to and converts that into voltage, which goes to the engine computer and tells the engine computer if there's any knocking or vibration or pinging or whatever else going on. So uh, in, in particular, this vehicle's only got one wire on each. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the oscilloscope up to both wires directly at the sensors. Uh, it's quite difficult on this one. Ideally, you wanna back probe the terminals, but we've just connected up to the wires themselves. We just wanna see if we're getting a signal from the knock sensor and, or is the knock sensor not working at all. So obviously when we get this code in, we might just jump the gun and replace the knock sensor, but obviously we shouldn't be doing that. We need to make sure is the knock sensor producing a signal or not? You know, there could be a fault with the wiring, could be a fault with the computer. And the best way to do that is to get the oscilloscope on there, like we said. So we've connected up the scope to the single wire on each of these. And obviously we've got our ground uh, to directly to the battery. And all we're gonna do is just rev the engine and look at the signature of the knock sensors to see if we're getting a signal or not. And look, at the end of the day, this one's quite easy to confirm if one or you know one sensor is not working at all because we've got two sensors and we can just use the sensor that's not throwing a code to compare to and as you can see here the blue trace is our number one sensor and the red trace is our number two sensor and as you can see that the number one sensor is not producing a signal at all so clearly that shows us that we have a fault with this sensor and we need to replace it so what we do is we just replace that sensor and here is the after check as we're revving it and as you can see here the blue trace our number one signal is now working normally so looking at our signature here we can see that we have a, an ac sine wave and that is what we're supposed to be getting that is what our normal knock sensor signal looks like obviously what we can't confirm 1000 percent is the exact amplitude of this signal but you know obviously having a, a gauge in mind of what it should look like is going to give you a head start. And the other thing is, even if we do have access to live data and you can see voltage of a knock sensor, you're only getting the uh, process data of the computer anyway. So really the, the only real best way to check these knock sensors is actually with an oscilloscope. So hopefully uh, that works out for you and that uh, you can see what's going on here. So there you go guys, hopefully that makes sense to you and hopefully that helps you out the next time that you get a vehicle in with a knock sensor code and help you narrow it down. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.